Hello everybody, it's me again. In today's video, I want to show you how I made or how you can make your own hydroponic setup. For those who are not familiar with it yet, basically it's growing food or growing plants without soil. Instead, you will be using a liquid solution wherein all the nutrients a plant will need is already there. So this video has four parts. One is sowing your seeds to prepare your grow box, transplanting to make your seedling plugs. This is a seedling plug right there. And lastly is putting everything together, even mixing your own nutrient solution. This is a snap solution. Oh, by the way, this is not sponsored. I just prefer to use snap because it's beginner friendly. I've tried using other solutions. It's just that you will need other instruments like pH meter and TDS meter, which is not really fitting for beginners. So this is what I recommend you to use when you're just starting, when you just want to get your feet wet, whether if it's for just home consumption or your business so let's get right to it so there are different types of hydroponics in this video i will share with you how to set up one of the easiest form which is the kratke method first let's prepare our planting materials you will need a container with few sheets of tissue paper peat moss your seeds and a spray bottle lightly moisten the tissue paper get your seeds and spread them evenly spray again and place the cover to retain moisture on the next day, as you can see, most of them have already germinated. What I did next is I transferred only the germinated seeds to a seedling tray with peat moss as my growing media. Now use a spray bottle to prevent the seeds from going further deep. Keep them moist and place the tray in an area with bright light. So while we wait for our seeds to grow, why don't we take this time to prepare our grow boxes? First, you will need a styro box, a 20 by 30 inch polyethylene plastic, packaging tapes, scissors, a century tuna can, and lastly, a hacksaw. So this is how my recycled styro box looks like. As you can see, they have holes everywhere. For the holes on the lid, cover them using a packaging tape. Now to cover the holes on the bottom, lay your plastic bag and secure it with tape. You'll be putting water inside so make sure there will be no leak. Now let's proceed to making holes. Use the hacksaw to remove the rim of the can, obviously because we need a sharp edge to pierce the box. So I suggest you start on the edge. Start twisting in a very light motion just to mark the position. Now twist and twist until you say goodbye to your wrist. Nope, that is not a dying pig, that just means you're piercing through the box. So I spaced the holes around 7 inches apart so I can only make 6 holes with a grow box that I have. 1 down, 666 to go. So this is my seedlings 2 weeks in life. They have at least 2 leaves making them ready for transplant. So we can now proceed in preparing our seedling plugs. So I used a 12 ounce milk teacup, a soldering iron, of course your seedlings, and sterilized cocoa peat as my media but you can also use foam if you wish. So get a cup in that hot soldering iron, start punching holes an inch from the bottom. I start by making these diagonal patterns for no important reason, it's just that pattern satisfy me. By the way, these are milk tea cups. I prefer to use them as they are sturdy, reusable, and very cheap. Oh, and I also punched holes on the bottom. After placing holes, fill about half of the cup with some cocoa peat. Make a hole, then gently get a seedling and wash off the media. Be extra careful and make sure the roots are intact. Then transplant and secure it by slightly pressing the media around the plant. If you prefer to use foam as your media, make a slit up to the center. Get a seedling, wash off the peat moss. Now gently slip it onto the slit. Push the foam down until the tip of the roots touches the bottom of the cup. One day before transferring to the grow box, I conditioned them by watering using a half-strand solution. Now for the last part, it's time to assemble everything. Get your grow box, your conditioned seedling plugs, your snap solution, measuring pitchers for the water, and syringe for measuring the solution. Start by pouring water in your grow box. If your platform is uneven, you can use this tire from when you made holes to level the water. In my case, I used 12 liters of water. Pour 30 ml of snap A and 30 ml of snap B. Steer for a few minutes, cover, and place your seedling plugs. Make sure that the cup should be submerged for at most half an inch. 
There is no need to submerge the whole cup as half inch is already enough to soak up the solution. And you're done! Lettuce and pechai can be harvested as early as 30 to 50 days from germination. As the roots grow, the solution level also drops. This allows more air around the roots, because roots also need to breathe. Upland Kong Kong is also ideal to grow using this method. In my experience, they are the easiest and fastest to grow. Okay, just to show you an example, this is what a matured pechai looks like. This is around 40 to 50 days after germination. If it's for the market, you have to harvest this as a whole, basically uproot it and cut it from the base. But if it's just for home consumption, you can just simply cut how many leaves you want. The plant won't die, it'll still continue growing as long as there is still nutrient solution inside the grow box. Actually, this is more than 50 days already and um, in terms of flavor and texture, there's not much difference between this as compared to those leaves that I have harvested earlier, like 40 days after germination. So yeah, if it's just for home consumption, I guess it's still good. I'm not really sure how long I can keep this, but I feel like this is already too old, so I might as well replace. So yeah, that's it. I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope it somehow encouraged you to try hydroponics and try to grow your own food. And yeah, thank you for watching!